guys good morning um <laughs> this is not really how i thought i'm going to be starting this video i am so unprepared for this got my period in the morning um i'm actually i think at night i was prepared kind of i obviously knew it was coming um so i had a pad on and yeah i woke up to a great morning surprise when i'm actually flying to bombay in like an hour <laughs> and uh, we gotta start our menstrual cup journey today how cool is that <laughs> anyway <laughs> we're gonna let it ruin our day because we got a long day and i just uh, i knew that you have to sterilize your menstrual cup now i wasn't sure do you do it you know even when it's brand new or do you only do it once you've used it and you know between every cycles or before a new cycle um but i thought why not like um even if it's new let's not take a risk and sterilize it before it goes into my watch aj um and so to sterilize it the best way one of the best ways on the internet <laughs> is to um put it in boiling water for about 10 minutes and then do the deed now we're gonna do the deed <laughs> not the best way to start this i'm already i'm spamming so hard guys anyway my alarm is ringing i need to hurry up i haven't even bagged although i don't have much to bag because i'm going to be in bombay for a few hours um but yeah let's just let's start okay oh jitters so the water is clearly boiling and i don't um i mean i read and i saw in some videos that you need a metal whisk to put this in and then you put it in the water but i don't have a whisk so i think i'm going to put it directly i hope it doesn't melt doesn't plastic melt Okay anyway let's see what happens All right I'm going to close it and then let it settle for about 5 10 minutes Hey sweetie you're doing great Just don't melt okay I know you're plastic bitch Just don't melt <laughs> Okay so it's been about 10 minutes and now I think we need to take you out baby girl As you can't really see I am sitting on the toilet, and now we have to put this baby inside. Oh, wait! Why is there a hole in this? Okay. And you get my phone to see how you insert this thing. Wait a second. How to insert a menstrual? Neem menstrual cup. How to insert menstrual cup? This is a little uh, overwhelming. Read the instructions. Where are my instructions? Okay. Try inserting the cup the first time in the privacy of your own bathroom. I am in, my, in the privacy of my own bathroom when I'm accompanied by you guys. I don't know why I start talking. Okay, so here is the fold. It's the C fold. So you pinch it in, and then this face happens, and then you pinch it like this. So you see this. Okay, I think we close. No, are we? Okay, yeah, this. Okay. Pinch it down. Basically, you hold it like this. You pinch it in the middle. This is the C fold, and then you pinch it down to get this. I don't know. I mean, I'm going to put detailed instructions later. But all right, now I need to put this in. Okay, let's try. I haven't taken my underwear off. Let's do this. Need to relax. I have a flight to catch. Can't relax. But try. 
So let's do it. Oops, the fold came out. <laughs> why, God, why? Ugh. Okay, okay, let's see. I hope this works. Wow, this is so normal. I think we're in. And I could feel the menstrual cup opening. But you know what I'm scared of? I'm still holding to the tip. I'm scared that when I leave the tip, it's just going to go inside. Like just inside my body. Should I leave it? Okay, I've left it. And it's still out. All right, we had our insertion. Now, now what do you do? Wait. Okay, I have a flight to catch. I think the insertion was smooth though. I mean, I read about it a lot of times and uh, a lot of people had complaints about it not going in and not going in perfectly. I don't know if it's perfect, but I don't feel very uneasy at the moment. I do still have the fear of it going inside my body. But apart from that, um, I think I'm feeling okay. I anyway, like my periods are quite crampy. So uh, I think we're good. I'm gonna update you, but I, now I need to rush to the airport. All right, see you. So I'm at the airport, kind of bloated and um, I can't feel the cup at all inside me which I think is terrifying a little bit and hi Ayushi Ayushi come here thanks okay I'm gonna call Ayushi and ask her a few questions but yeah I can't feel the cup and I have a little bit of cramp I have a pain cramp patch on which helps relieve the pain so hopefully that will help because I have a long day ahead of me I have a shoot day and I don't want to like die so hi Ayushi hi. so my question to you was have you ever used a men's workout oh I have it but I really want to I guess you want to I think I want to try it you think, why, do you, why do you think you would want to try it because I've heard it makes life a lot more easier. And I'm ready to see your review. <laughs> <laughs> because all your cards are on me. Then yes, if it goes I'm well with me, and if I survive this, you're gonna try it. Is that is that like a yes that if I actually do survive it nicely, you will? I think I'm going to. <laughs> At least we'll turn one person, so I'm happy. So let's see how that goes. So we landed in Bombay, and as soon as I got out of my seat, I had the feeling of that I'm leaked. You know, that constant fear when you're on your you're on your period and you feel like, oh, you've leaked and there's gonna be a stain and exactly that. I know you made that face. So I came into the washroom to check and there's not a dot. So I'm gonna go to the venue and then in a few hours, I think in an hour, uh, it would be about five, six hours to the cup and I'll pick it out and check, you know. How that goes. Hey guys, yeah, I'm all dolled up. So now it's time to take off the take off the cup and see how that goes. I'm actually very nervous about this one because it's gonna be messy and dirty. But um, yeah, let's see. Okay, so taking that out wasn't the best feeling in this world. Um, I don't know, it felt weird and it was a little tough to take it out because the tip is quite small that sticks out with the tampon, it's a string. Um, so that was a little tricky maybe also with some other cups, the, the tip is a little longer for you to pull it out. Also the nail business, not the best. Um, there was an underman walking. Yeah, so doing this in public toilet also another tricky moment for me, especially this is my first time. I wish I was in my own washroom and doing this, but here we are in a public washroom. And uh, yeah, so I've inserted it again. Let's see in a couple of hours what I feel. I think <coughs> inserting it is quite easy. Um, I think the taking it out part is much more difficult 
than putting it in so I hope to get better at that I really want this to be successful guys really would want to sit to cups and you know to make much less waste in life guys update on the cup um, I don't feel anything leaking at the moment and I also actually placed a pad just for safety because it's the first time and I don't want to be wrong here I have Ankush with me. Ankush, have you heard of men's food cup? Yeah, I wear them. All the time? Sundays. Only on Sundays? Yeah. That's when you leak. <laughs> it is like 12.30 in the night and I just got home from the airport. Didn't go to the washroom anywhere and came home um, it's been I, about like four five hours since the last time I took it out so I took it out again <laughs> um, and I think I'm having a hard time with taking it out I think the inserting was pretty easy for me and um, I figured it out quite nicely and very quickly but I think the part of taking the cup out is really right now giving um, like it's, it's hard um, so I think tomorrow uh, or tonight I'm just gonna do my research read more about or and watch videos on how to take it out properly because probably I'm not doing it right because it cannot really be um, you know this tricky and also be a little painful I, I don't think it should be because if I see so many women swear on, on it today um, I posted about it on Instagram that I started using the cup and so many women mess women messaged me that oh oh my god welcome to the club and that's a great change and it'll it's gonna take you a few cycles to get used to it so probably that's happening because it's my first time I'm also a little nervous and I also had a very hectic day today like it wasn't a normal day I had a shoot and <clears throat> I was flying in and out so it's it's been a crazy day so not I don't think it's the best day to start something like this but um, I also wanted to start ASAP uh, so right now I'm just wearing a pad which I was wearing all day because if I didn't want to take any risks um, so I think I'm gonna sleep in that and in the morning again I'm gonna put the cup back in and um, start the new day it's a new day um, I am uh, still trying the cup um, I read about how to take it off nicely and how to take it out in the best possible way. Um, so I think the problem that I'm having right now with the cup I'm using is that uh, uh, the tip is quite small to hold on to. I also have another cup. I'm going to talk about the brands uh, in detail later. Uh, I also have another one which I checked has a longer tip. So maybe tonight when I have to change, I will start using that and see if that's easier to take out. Uh, also, I think the position I was doing it in, I was uh, because it's obviously uh, a Western, you know, commode, uh, so you don't squat too much. Uh, maybe on an Indian toilet you do. So I think I have to squat a little more so that you know I can release more, if you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, feel more relaxed basically. It's 8:30 and I'm still at work. Um, it's been a long day. I update on the cup is that I took it out of in the middle of the day and it again was tricky for me I didn't it's not working I think with this cup I'll have to try a different cup out and see if that's gonna work because the tip of this one is very very small thankfully I was wearing a pad so now I'm just on that um, and now I'm gonna go home and insert the new cup and see how that goes Hey guys, this is the third day. Um, I told you guys yesterday that I'm gonna go home and try the new cup, but honestly, I had no energy to, you know, um, do that. I think, you know, we're so used to using the pads, and I'm now used to using the tampons that it's just, um, I don't know, I was, it was a, he a hectic day out of office, and then I didn't wanna just like come back to something new, so I thought I'll start fresh with the dawn of the day it's actually the noon um right now i'm just wearing a tampon because it's easy and i i thought before doing anything let's just first talk about the two brands i have and none of this is sponsored by the way so don't worry i'm not going to be biased towards anyone this is all 
my real experience that I'm going to talk about. Uh, sadly, no one really paid me to good to do this video, so uh. <laughs> okay. So this was the cup that I was using uh, for the past two days. Uh, as I told you guys, the tip of this one is quite tiny, so. Uh, it does come with instructions. This is the Boont cup. A lot of people recommended me using this, so I ordered one. Um, so um, it says, I had a hard time removing this one, right? So it says how to remove it is to uh, feel the bottom knob of the Boont cup with one finger and then hold the base. Now the problem I faced was when I was holding this, first I have nails, which is, I don't know if it's the best. Uh, but although I mean most women have long nails so that shouldn't come in the way right um, anyway so I was having a hard time to pull this and then reach the base um, I may have a large cervix I don't know but I did face that problem as I mentioned um, as per the instructions here it should be easy but I had my issues now the cup I'm going to use is this one this is the Serona cup um, and this one comes with a longer tip which I right now am looking forward to to just hold it now you're obviously not supposed to yank it out because then it's gonna be a bloodbath and it will look like a murder scene but um, it'll I think just be easier to pull it a little bit and then hold the base of the cup and put it out pull it out this is how you actually do it is I, I mean I saw the tutorials is uh, you pull the the bottom a little bit and then you hold on to the base and try to you know easily just take it out I don't know what that what the sound effects were for but yeah so now today we're gonna use this one and see what happens also very important to read the instructions never read the instructions also did my research on youtube which is <laughs> duh, the best place to learn anything um okay oh it does come, also come with sizes so large is ideal for in general women who are above 25 years old or women who have given birth to a child i am above 25 so is this a large cup this is a medium cup the one that i have We'll see whether I need a medium or a large later on then. Um, medium is ideal for women up to the age of 25 or who have not given birth to a child. And small is ideal for women below the age 25 and who have not given birth to children. Um, this one, uh, I'm not sure if Boon Cup comes in different sizes, but pretty sure Serona one does because this one is a medium. Um, and now after using this i will get to know whether i would actually need a medium or a large or a small <laughs> uh, okay it also has it also comes with instructions fold it insert use take out empty rings uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah that's you know this is how we need instructions right either we don't read it or if we do it's gonna be like da -da 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 boiling our new baby okay that sounds so wrong i'm not boiling my baby guys sorry all right guys it's time to test the second one okay echo <laughs> the second one i also noticed this one difference that this one is much softer um than the boot cup uh, i don't know if that is going to help or not uh, but yeah just something i noticed talking to myself so you do this with one finger and you get something which looks like this and then you pull that fold towards the bottom so it looks a little bit like this. I mean only practice can help you. I practiced like two times. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Focus on me now. Thank you. Alright, so now it's time to put this in. Time to take out my cup. And I'm a little um, nervous about it. Also, this time because the tip is longer, I can feel my cup um, because you know that it keeps the tip keeps touching <laughs> the tip keeps touching my underwear. Um, so you know, I, I, I'm just like very conscious about that there's something there. With the last cup, I wasn't feeling so. 
Um, let's see how smooth the taking out process is. So we took it out and it was easier for sure but it's no, I'm not going to say that it was magical. Look at me with one earring, wow, I look like a hipster. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't magical, it wasn't like a big difference um, but we did make um, a considerable change and a, cons and a positive one. Now, even though the tip is longer uh, and I can hold it, uh, it becomes difficult because we are wet uh, down there and the tip gets wet and then, you know, the hand starts slipping, I, I, I'm getting graphic again, but yeah, so that's how real it is, but it was easier to take it out this time. Also, I managed to squat as much as I could um, and, and relax. So yeah, and I pull it again. Now we'll do it once more at night and see if it's if we are getting somewhere. I hope we do. <laughs> really, really hope we do. Hey guys, just got back home. I actually forgot to take my camera to work today and forgot to update you guys. Um, I am still using the cup. This is the second cup still. Um, We've made some good progress and um, it's much more easier to take it out now. Um, I think also because my flow is not as much now because it's my fourth day and tomorrow should be the last day. Um, I will be in Bombay tomorrow, I'm flying again and it is going to be hectic so we'll see how far it helps. But I've completely stopped using a pad or anything extra just to you know be sure because initially I was doing that. Um, now I have complete faith on the cup also because the flow is less um, but yeah um, even though we've had like a rough patch uh, with this I feel like I would still stick to this you know um, next month and the month after that and like keep keep at it because um, I have been told and I have been hearing and reading from so many, so many women who, who converted that it is going to take some time and it is going to take a few cycles for you to get used to it. So I am not going to rush into anything and it's not going to be you know a miracle and it's not going to be like a one day thing where you like oh my god this is it. Um, you have to be conscious about it. Hey guys, uh, landed in Bombay. Um, it's been about 5-6 hours since I last put the cup in it was in the morning and honestly I am I think now I've reached a point where I am very very much in line with and like comfortable with it and I don't feel any like uneasiness or anything like that so I think by the end of the cycle at least I've managed to come to terms with it and I think uh, the next time the next month when we do it it's gonna be so much easier and so much more fun I guess and I'll be looking forward to it um, but yeah it's been a fun journey and I'm gonna share some insights with you by the end of this video but um, last day and I'm having fun hey guys it's a long video as you can see but I just want to quickly come here and say a last few things that I have kind of learned on this journey with the menstrual cup uh, first would be it's not a cakewalk it is more like moonwalk you know it's a little difficult you'll get if you practice you'll get there um, and some moonwalks are like cakewalks I mean you know you can turn it into that what am I even saying but you know what I mean so I think it will take me a few more cycles a few more months to get used to the cup but I am going to be on that journey and I am going to try my level best to be a cup user um, because I think it's gonna help me everybody else i'm a cheap hoe i don't have to buy anything else you know again and again so yep and uh, yeah please let me know in the comments if you have any other questions i tried to answer basically i wanted this to be my account of you know dealing with uh, my first experience with the cup uh, i don't want it to be a more do's and don'ts because uh, i mean you can always google those kind of things and get to know more i just felt like this should be my first and experience to you guys and that's what i did there um, I hope you like the video. Please give this a thumbs up. I haven't said it enough, but please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I'm going to start putting more content out. I'm really sorry I haven't put up something in a while. 
but uh, be with me give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends let all your other girls know what they're missing out on probably <laughs> and yeah let's all convert to let's all be cup sisters uh, two girls in a cup let's pretend i did not say that i'm going to see you next time bye